Now, take a look at this. Do you know what it is? It is, of course, some of you will know this, the iconic Led Zeppelin IV album featuring their huge hit, Stairway to Heaven. It sold more than 37 million copies worldwide. But have you ever wondered about this chap on the front? Well, now, exactly 52 years, actually to the day since its release, we can reveal his identity. This is my director's copy. This afternoon, I caught up with Brian Edwards, who solved the mystery, and also David Dawson from the Wiltshire Museum to find out more. Part of my everyday job is to review uh, online sources of new material, and I review Victorian photographs in particular. And I was looking for some photographs of um, Wiltshire from the late Victorian period. Um, some photographs of Stonehenge came to my attention. And I spotted a familiar figure with a lot of sticks on his back. <laughs> You're a Led Zeppelin fan though, aren't you? So did you know what you'd stumbled across straight, straight away? Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, it's such an iconic album cover. You couldn't mistake it from that period. You wouldn't even need to be a fan, but as it happens, I was. So what happened next? Now you've got this original photograph, where did that lead you? Um, so the, the, the museum secured the, um, secured the album and I started to look for the photographer. We only knew his name was Ernest and there were over 300 Victorian phot photographers called Ernest. But I had a bit of a lucky break and I found his father it, working in Salisbury in 1851, his marriage certificate had uh, revealed a signature which we matched with writing in the album. That's incredible. And haven't you even found out the name of the man with the stick? Um, well, that was, that was a lot easier, really. Um, there were only 35 to 40 Thatchers working in Wiltshire in the 1890s. And uh, uh, in the area of interest, he was the only man over 60. Wow. What was his name? His name's Lot Long, and he was 69 in this photograph, and he lived in Mia. That's incredible detail. So, David, this is so exciting. I bet there's been loads of interest, hasn't there? What are the museum going to do with it? Well, there certainly has, with worldwide interest, literally. We've had people from Japan, Australia and beyond. Um, we're going to have a special exhibition starting in April next year where we'll be focusing on the, the photography of Ernest Farmer, the Wiltshire Thatcher, and also the, celebrating the links to this amazing Led, Led Zeppelin IV album. It's going to be wonderful. And is anything else going to spawn from this, do you think? With the interest we've seen worldwide, I think we're going to get people literally coming from all over the world. There are so many Led Zeppelin fans out there. We've had something like 36,000 uh, people looked at a, just our Facebook post. It's been in the media worldwide, uh, the BBC online, of course. So it's going to be, it's going to be huge for devices. Uh, and for me, because I think people are going to want to see where Lot Long lived. Yeah, that's a brilliant point, actually. Um, any response from um, Jimmy Page or uh, Robert Plant? None yet that we're aware of, but um, a lot of the fan sites and um, music outlets have all been in touch this morning. They've piled up on social media and been sending in emails and ringing in. I bet so they have. It'd be wonderful if they were, the band were to get in touch. We'd love to see that. Yeah, and open the exhibition. That would be the ultimate, wouldn't it? Brian and um, <laughs> David, thank you so much um, for sharing your stories. Well, thank you. You're, you're very welcome. <laughs> Brian on the left said to me at the end of the interview, now I'm going to be watching tonight because we always watch and I hope you'll headbang in the programme. So I was going to do it, Brian, but I checked my contracts. And apparently I'm forbidden from doing it um, on a Wednesday in November. So I can't. So sorry about that. We move on.